Hey guys, it's Ross Scott and on the Space Cup today we're comparing Paul Dameron's. Here we see him, both Elite Series, here we see him from The Force Awakens in his flight suit and here we see him in his last Jedi outfit. So I'll just bring him close and we'll check out the differences in facial sculpt. Because as I said, I thought this was a really good casting at the time. Now you can see there are differences between them. This one is much more accurate, although this one is still not bad. From the side, yes, very much so more so from that angle hair is a bit different he's got more of a sideburn here than he does on this one let's just throw it up and then from that side you see say the nose for instance is more detailed than it is on this one it's a bit more of a blob this one it has um more definition again the hair is more defined also with the sideburn on that side uh, let's see, oh, they're holding hands. They, I think this one is actually fractionally taller. Let me just, <laughs> Oscar Isaac's so small. There they are, stood right next to each other. Yeah, it might be because of his stance. Yeah, when you do that, they are the same height, yes, but I'll just put it back to that way, it's easier. So yes, there are some differences. Obviously the outfit's completely different. You can just see actually the detailing of the hair. It's much more so on this one than it does on this, although this does have it as well. Now, you see all those holes in the back. This one doesn't have it. Uh, they've been filled in. You can just make out, say, there, which is good because it's a bit unsightly, or certainly when um, on the Stormtroopers it's very unsightly because it's so obvious. Uh, on any of them really. So it's good that they've been plugged and filled in. Because look how many there are on this. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine at least. And all that, they'll be the same on this one. But like I say, they have actually um, been filled in. So yes, it's definitely a different facial sculpt. Yeah. Like I say, very good casting on the um, Last Jedi one. But it's not bad on the Elite. And this, I've not seen this for sale anywhere since I actually first got the piece a uh, year or so ago. But yes, it's good to see the two of them together. One of the breakout characters, of course, from The Force Awakens, even though he's only in it for a very short time. I'm sure his uh, part in the new one will be much, much more significant as I guess they're going to transition him into becoming the leader of the Resistance, I expect. But yeah, great figures, both of them. Very happy with the pair of them. But I thought it'd just be uh, interesting just to compare the two of them together and see what differences there are. And as I said, the sculpting on this one is much more detailed. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestion for a topic you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.